Hello and welcome to Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey as always. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to get the OT bird on the scale pads today. We're going to start checking stuff out, see if we can get it ready to load up and head to the track. So stay tuned. All right, we got our scale pads hooked up and in place and our scales in position. We zeroed out our scales and we're gonna go ahead and let it down now and roll it back and see what we've got. All right, this is what we got so far. Total weight of 3,271. Uh, we want to get 50% cross weight. Let's see what we got here. Look at there, 50%. So that's really, really good. Um, I need to check these ride heights before we go any further, but uh, that's pretty amazing starting off right where we want to be on the cross. So let's uh, check our ride heights and we will see how that affects everything. Okay, we're under the car, obviously. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you is that I... Uh, did put a bunch of lead in the seat to try to uh, simulate my big old fat self. I'm a little bit light on lead, but it's close enough. Again, what we're trying to determine is uh, we just want to see if the car is close, and it is very, very close, I can tell already. I want to check this uh, track bar height. We want to get it level on both sides, and it is about three-eighths of an inch higher. But we're going to lower this as low as we can on both sides and uh, but then keep it level. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this track bar down on both sides. And uh, then I think uh, I want to adjust these trailing arms. We'll come back. We'll do that here in a second as well. We'll get that up in the air to do that. So anyway, uh, let's see if we can get this thing adjusted and we will uh, go on to the next thing. All right, that is uh, that is about as good as we're gonna get it right there. So let's tighten her down. That is perfect. All right, so that's that. And uh, I'm gonna go back and check the right house one more time. Then we'll move on to the next thing. All right, before we go any further, I want to clear something up. I'm not trying to tell you today how to set up your car. I left a bunch of stuff out, okay? Uh, I'm just simply checking some things out. We're going to take the car down to the track tomorrow, and we're going to see how close it was, and whoever set the car up last time and when it was raced actually is very, very close. I'm very thankful for that today. Lord and mercy, I didn't want to change up a bunch of stuff. I was going to take the springs out and, and check them. There's no need to. The car is very close. And it's close enough for a go uh, see. It should drive fine the way it is. Uh, but if you were going to do a real setup, there's lots of steps I left out. You know, you always make sure you scale the car in the exact same spot of your shop. 
Make sure you use your scale pads in the same place, same corner of the car. Uh, make sure your air pressures are set. Uh, make sure you've got weight in the seat, just like uh, like I was saying earlier. If you're by yourself, like I am today, uh, I've got it, the seat is full of lead. Uh, a little trick on that, sometimes you can put some jugs of fuel in there because that gives you uh, a pretty good, easy way to get you some weight in there. So uh, there's other things that's got to be done. I didn't show you. I'm just simply trying to check some really 30,000 foot level stuff and it's, it's really good. So I'm really excited about uh, where we're at now. So I want to get that out, make sure that you didn't think, well, that guy don't know what he's doing. I, well, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I didn't want you to think that I was saying this is how you set up your car. So anyway, let's get back on it. Always want to make sure you don't ever pinch these cables. We will actually have to repair one of our ends. Don't ever pull them out by the cable out of the scales. All right, now that we got the scale pads and the scales, everything put away safely, we raised the car back up. We grabbed a handful of wrenches. We're going to nut and bolt the car. This is something very important you need to always do. Now, I've had a lot of stuff already apart on this car, so I know what needs to be checked. We're going to check stuff like shock mounts, tie rod bolts, uh, sway bar bolts, anything that might come loose. Obviously, we're going to double check it, so let's get on it. Most of your stuff seems to always be half inch bolts. So all you need is a couple three quarter wrenches. Mm. Well, we got pretty much everything done on the car. Uh, I want to fix this valence right here where this piece of plastic is broke on the bottom. Uh, my granddaughter came out this morning. She's visiting uh, for Thanksgiving. She got out and got in the car and got all my windows cleaned up. It cost me 20 bucks, but that was well worth it because I can't reach it. But we're going to uh, get this valence fixed. Then we're going to uh, prime the oil pump and uh, crank the car up. And then we're going to move the truck out and see if we can get it loaded. I want to try my new race ramps that we bought uh, for the clearance to get the car in there. So uh, we're on a downhill slide, plus I got to go buy fuel. I understand I'm going to be paying about $12.50 a gallon for it today, so that's exciting. So anyway, let's see if we can get this valence fixed and we'll go from there. All right, the place that I get my plastic from here locally, it's a plastic warehouse. They're closed today. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a temporary fix. We're gonna split this right here in one of these mounting holes. Now, if this is not long enough to go all the way around. So we'll split it probably about right here, whichever one's broke on the other side. And we'll have enough to, to reach that. So that's what we'll do. So uh, let's see if we can get this split and see if we can cut the new one to fit. Okay, went right down the hole there, right down the center of it, and uh, get the other piece and cut it to length and see what we got. All right, we got our piece of plastic up here. I'm just simply going to overlap it like this. We're just going to mark it. I've already got it marked. Cut it there, and then we'll just let this washer do the trick. See, it ain't going to be perfect for tomorrow. It'll be fine. Okay, I am very happy with that. So what I was hoping to do is just get this joint to match. A little bit different in color, but hey, it looks better than a big old piece being broke out of it. So 
Let's get the thing down, see if we can get the oil pump primed up, see if it'll crank up now. I do not like dry sump motors for this reason right here. I mean, you gotta have them, but man, they're so aggravating. That should be good enough. It's only been a week and a half or two since I've run it. I see it's going backwards now, so that should be good enough. We'll get our belt back on. Okay, that's on there now. on this thing and see if we can get loaded up okay we got the car down got tires on it and um got the dually pulled out ready to load everything up so i'm gonna run out to the track and get some fuel i'm gonna get about 15 gallons and uh we'll come back and see if we get her loaded up well we got the car around here we're ready to load it up got it fueled up that was only 180 dollars for 15 gallons of fuel but we're gonna try out our new race ramps and our new winch and see how this setup works. Hopefully it'll work good, but uh, these uh, race ramps are engineered. They actually have a program on their website that you calculate the height of your car, the nose three feet out, and then the height of your trailer door. And as I said in our last video, we pulled the dovetail off. So uh, I need you to see how this works. So let's see if we can get it in there and hopefully it'll clear. tires in there we still got to get our uh, air compressor put in a couple of the small items but I cannot tell you how much I love these race ramps first time I got to use them y'all that is a great investment they're a little pricey but they are well worth the money pull straight in no problem like I say they have a way to help you calculate the distance and the height you need based on your trailer based on your individual towing capacity you have wonderful I love them Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. We'll take the cameras along with us to the track. Hopefully these things will run okay. We'll find out. Stay tuned next time. Till then, have a great day. God bless you. You take care.